Hey guys, what does engine oil numbers mean? Well, there seems to be a lot of confusion, so let's try and clear some of that up with our first example, 5W30 SAE. Motor oils use a rating system developed by the Society of Automotive Engineers, hence the SAE, to classify engine oils by viscosity. Now, they take this engine oil, run it through what's called a viscometer. The engine oil races through the viscometer and it records how fast the engine oil makes it through it. So, this is recorded at a set temperature. For example, the cold rating, 5W30, 5W is the winter rating. And that rating is actually recorded at 100 degrees Fahrenheit or 40 degrees Celsius. Now for the hotter temperature, the 30 rating, it would be recorded at 210 degrees Fahrenheit or about 100 degrees Celsius. There is something important you should know, most people don't even realize. Guys, some manufacturers actually will show you a chart based on the temperature outside and you may need to use a different engine oil depending on your location or the temperature or season. However, many manufacturers will only recommend one viscosity grade. I have a lot of people asking me if uh, engine oil is rated at 5W30, then wouldn't this mean that the engine oil is actually getting thicker as it heats up? And actually, no, that's not true. Now, since it's rated at different temperatures, they have it at different scales, and what's happening is when they check the engine oil, they're checking the engine oil's characteristics of, say, a 30 weight oil. And so, yes, it classifies similar to a 30 weight oil. Just like when it's at the other temperature, a colder temperature, the 5 rating is classified because it has characteristics of 5 oil. So that being for the rating, the number 5 of course. Guys, you always need to read your manufacturer's recommendations, check your owner's manual. A lot of people just assume because that they have engine clearances that are wearing out, their engine's worn, they should automatically go to using a thicker engine oil. And that's not necessarily what you want to do. You have to think of this several ways. When you use a thicker engine oil, it's only a minor, minor uh, change and so many times a seal that's been damaged or if you have low oil pressure and it's not a leak then that minor difference really isn't going to make that much of a difference and it's going to decrease flow even if it does increase oil pressure and the worst part about it is yes you may have uh, bearing clearances that need a little extra TLC tender loving care but unfortunately that's not going to handle the problem. And even if it were to help you in that situation, guess what? Then you have the top end of your engine and you don't want to have it starving of oil because you can also change the flow rate. And this said part of the engine may not need that help. More than likely, you'll have different parts of your engine that's going to wear a little bit differently according. So you don't want to just go around changing your viscosity just because you think a thicker engine oil provides more protection. And next up, you have the API certification. So the API certification, you'll see the big donut seal of approval. You'll see the SAE, and the SAE, of course, stands for uh, the viscosity rating. They're the ones that set said viscosity ratings for standards of oil companies to use, as I mentioned earlier. But you also have the American Petroleum Institute and the API what they're actually doing is they're certifying each engine oil to make sure that these engine oils are basically meeting the certifications that they are saying they're meeting, for example, with performance and quality. So they do verify this for these engine oil companies. So if you're buying random oil, try to make sure that you do have that seal of approval. But unfortunately, sometimes I have seen fake seals of approval. The API didn't even certify. Unfortunately, they need to put an end to that, but it's not going to happen. There'll always be somebody out there trying to cheat the system. As always, guys, if there's any important information you can give, hey, please do so. I'd love to hear it. 
I want to thank you for watching Nate's Interactive Auto.